<laughs> well, there it is. You know, I gotta slow it down sometimes, guys. I, I tell you, I, I, I speed up, I go too fast, and then I just... But you know what, it's really difficult to kind of slow things down when you got a pistol as sweet as this Walther Q5 match. What's up, guys? Clint here with Classic Firearms, and this is the gun I'm here to talk about today the Q5 match. So Walther introduced this guy not too long ago, and it has, it looks like something that you would spend a heck of a lot of money on, on a gun you already have, to try to customize and get to look like this, and shoot like this. The gun's a better shooter than I am, obviously, but this guy right here, oh my goodness, it doesn't come with that hefty price tag that a lot of your custom type, you know, competition, ready to go out the box firearms are, or do, and, uh, but, it still has all of those awesome features. I mean, just check out that ported slide, the slide cuts and serrations. You got the forward serrations, rear, rear serrations. You've got the optics cut already, fully adjustable LPA sights, the fiber optic front sight, very easy to pick up, ambidextrous slide release, Picatinny rail, oh my goodness, oversized magazine release, very nice, very easy to hit, very intuitive liking all of that so far let's put that guy back in my pocket let's shoot a couple more here because why not still have that one guy over there that's you know just yeah you oh man and the gun feels great to shoot also guys i mean just real low recoil chambered in nine mil by the way double stack coming with three 15 round mags that is pretty awesome oh Yeah, I need to slow down and actually get my sight picture here. Yeah, good job, Clint. Oh, oh, you know what I did, guys? And this is something I have to practice with. Every now and then on different firearms, because I kind of shoot a whole bunch of different guns, I gotta pay attention to my grip placement. What I just did on my last round, and the reason the bolt didn't have, hold open, is because I was riding the slide release just like this right here. Just like that, and then whenever it comes down, even though there's an empty mag in there and it wants to lock to the rear, I am prohibiting it from doing that. That is totally the shooter's fault, not the gun's fault. So that would be something I'd have to get used to. But that's okay. Uh, I would just train with it more and that's that, right? But anyway, guys, this thing is sweet. It has a completely customizable grip structure behind it too. So you've got the rear panel here, side panel. So if you wanted to, you know, beef it up some, you got longer hands or whatever it might, or bigger hands, whatever it might be, you can do that. And it also has great stippling all through here. This feels very good. Five inch polygonal barrel, which is very cool. Magazines again, comes with three of these, 15 rounds, very bright red uh, follower. So you can see that, you know, you're clear whenever the magazine is inserted and empty, very cool. And here's your slide release on the left-handed side. So they made it, e you know, at least easy enough for you Southpaw shooters out there so you can still actuate that slide release. Very cool. All right, man, the grip on this feels so good. The slight finger grooves, very ergonomic. That feels really good, guys. Nice low bore axis also helps with the uh, recoil mitigation. And I've got one more mag here. Let's just go for it a couple of times. Yeah, you can shoot this guy quick. Oh, you're still over there. There it is. Yeah, you can shoot this guy quick, stay on target. Yeah, this thing is nice. Mm, yeah, very low recoil, very easy to manage that recoil. And for this last couple of rounds here, let's make sure I put my uh, strong hand thumb over top of my weak hand thumb, so that way I'm not writing that slide release. So you can see that it you know, actually works. Just like that easy day the trigger on this guy i guess you can say it's pretty identifiable to be there you know uh competition style trigger that nice blue look to it and you could probably see that better if i wasn't behind it there blocking any type of light and it feels great guys this thing right here i'll just go ahead and show you really quick and yes we are clear i'll go ahead and drop the mag out for all of you safety guys out there, which is no big deal. And you'll see that it is just, that's your safety. You got that blade safety. And then we're gonna come back just a little bit and you'll see it has just a little bit of take up. And let's hit that wall, right there's the wall there. There we go, okay. 
So the trigger might take a little bit of getting used to. Reset on it's nice, nice and short too. It actually feels like it's coming under four pounds, which is nice. Boom. Let's see that reset. Just like that. So not far travel for the reset. Very nice gun, guys. Now, if you're not familiar with who Alec is, Alec is part of the Classic Firearms team. He's been in a couple of videos. Some, uh, some of our uh, more embarrassing uh, outside the warehouse videos. <sighs> anyway, he is a huge fan of Walther, and I haven't even told him that we got these in yet. So he's going to find out pretty much when you guys do when this video goes out. And sorry, bro. We'll see you down in the comments. <laughs> Leave F in the chat. Anyway. Ah, oh, man, this is a pretty sweet pistol. Let's take it back to the bench since I'm pretty much all out of ammo. And let's show you guys uh, what all it comes with because uh, <laughs> it comes with quite a bit of stuff, which is nice. And that also includes, again, I'm going to say this because it makes me very happy, three 15 round magazines. Nice Walther case. And for those of you that don't know Walther, they've been around for a long time just making quality products. I mean, it's like James Bond's brand of, you know, brand choice when it comes to firearms. And uh, for obvious reasons, they're sexy, they shoot great, they're reliable, and they're, ah, they just look so dang good. Oh, nice. All right, let's open up this case here. And so it does come with one of your standard type uh, speed loaders. These are not bad speed loaders, but I will say there are better ones out there, like my Maglula here. And I've got several of these guys. Uh, my favorite one's the pink one though, because that's the one I lose the least often because, well, it's bright pink. It's easy to see. And most people don't want to steal your speed loader that's pink, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, these guys work just fine though. Um, so, I mean, you know, you just kind of do that number and just feed the round in, whatever, you know, easy enough. But you know, let me just show you the Maglula. Here's how it works. We actually have a whole video out on these magazines, or excuse me, these speed loaders. Let's just kind of show you guys exactly how they work. Depress, push down, drop. Depress, push down, drop. Just like that. And it's very easy. Now I got a couple rounds in the mag. Excuse me. There we go. Nice. So, <laughs> yeah, I highly recommend these guys right here. And of course, Aguila Ammo if you're ever needing any. All right, uh, continuing on here, we've got those back straps that I mentioned before. And excuse me, I think I also said the uh, side straps. However, it's just back straps that are customizable on these guys. So if you're looking for a thicker fill, turn that guy actually the right way here, you can add these on and, you know, or slim it up even. I think this is the medium one that it comes with, the medium profile. So you can see that little bit of an arc right back here. And then this one here would be a little bit more, I guess you could say just straight. So whatever is more comfortable for you, try them all on. I mean, they're simple, super easy to, you know, take out and replace whatever. You've just got this one roll pin right through here. Tap that guy out, put in your new grip panel, tap it back in and you're all set. Easy enough. Very cool. Now these LPA sights are also very nice. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you exactly what your sight picture looks like there. Again, that bright red fiber optic shows up very good in daylight. So that's always nice. And it comes too with this little key. And this key is actually your adjustment tool. So you got a couple of Allen wrenches here for your sights to tighten, move, whatever you want to do. But that guy right there is the little key that you need to pretty much make your adjustments as far as windage and elevation goes. So fully adjustable, very cool. And I definitely need to put this back into the baggie before I drop it and lose it because that's totally me. All right, very cool guys. So hey, if you're in the market for a new pistol, maybe starting some three gun, you want a new competition pistol, well, check out the Walther Q5 Match. And we actually spoke with these guys at SHOT Show uh, this past year when we were allowed to go out and socialize and things. And we talked about a couple of their different products. And it's actually a relatively short video when we hit on the Q5 some. So you know what? Let's actually, let's watch that footage really quick so you guys get a feel for Walther and just how much they love their product too. All right, now we're over here with Walther and we're taking a look at some steel frames. Is that right, Nick? Yep, absolutely. So uh, last year we came out with the Q5 match steel frame. Uh, and what we found out, people love it. Yeah. They like the extra weight. Um, and then they started carrying it. Right. They don't like the extra length. <laughs> um, so what we did is, is all those, those uh, carry guys, those duty guys, uh, we kind of made them their own gun for 2020. Um, you can see right off the bat, uh, we 
radius this beaver tail quite a bit. Yep. Um, not only does it make it nicer for concealed carry, but it's designed specifically to fit in a Safari Land level three holster. Oh, nice. So all those duty guys uh, have options. The other thing you'll see is that we have an optics ready model okay. and an iron sights only. Nice. Again, we got a lot of feedback from different agencies. Hey, we got to have tritium night sights. Uh, there's no way to do that with an LPA cut sight uh, that's on the optics plate. So iron sight only, you can put any PPQ sights on it. Wow, yeah. um, very cool. Yeah, I'm also noticing too that you guys got ballistic magazines. Looks like you've got the Reader's Choice and Editor's Choice Awards over here. So congratulations on that. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm super yeah. excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. So definitely liking this guy's quite a bit. That, that has a great feel to it, man. I agree. That is, that is awesome. So yeah, guys, check them out. These Walters are awesome. This is the Q5 match that you see right here. The slide cuts. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Cool. Let me put this down and shake your hand again. Congratulations on the awards from Ballistic Magazine. Thank you. you. Got it. All right. So that one there was the all still frame construction one. And the ones we've got for you sale for you guys now are the polymer framed ones here. And these things here, because of that polymer frame, are nice and light, still made in Germany, of course. And man, they are ergonomic and feel great. And even though it's a lighter pistol, that recoil is super easy to mitigate and manage, uh, mainly because of, well, the overall just great engineering and design by Walther, but also all of these portings here and everything just make it very easy and a soft shooter. So pretty cool. And it, you know, looks really cool. <laughs> Especially if you're a press checker like I am, that makes it very grippy for you to get there and, you know, chamber check and all that kind of stuff, right? So very cool. Three 15 round mags. I'm going to say it again because I love it when companies throw in not just one, not two, but three mags. That's awesome. Two additional. So Hey, gotta love that, right? And again, if you're looking for a speed loader, you're out at the range all day like we are, hey, check out our Maglula products. You can't go wrong with these guys. All right, last gun I wanna talk to you guys about is one that, this is, you know, your close quarters type stuff, right? For competition, whatever. You need accuracy at short range. You need accuracy at long range. Guys, Christensen Arms makes the 300 Win Mag Traverse bolt action rifle, and it is a work of art. I think a lot of the guns that we've been giving away lately are actual artwork. They're mechanical pieces of just beauty. And this is no exception, guys. This Model 14 Traverse chambered in 300 Win Mag with the carbon fiber barrel, their carbon fiber wrapped barrel, lightens it up a little bit. The Leupold VX 6HD optic is beautiful. The Steiner rings, guys. I pretty much threw on everything here to, to spend money, ultimately. I mean, the AccuTac bipod, we didn't cheap out on anything. We wanted something sweet. And we also wanted something sweet for Lunker's TV to shoot on, and that's exactly what he did. So check out his footage of the Christensen Arms Traverse chambered in 300 Win Mag that you see right here. All right, guys, if you want to win this gun, it's pretty simple to sign up, right? All you gotta do is go to our website, www.classicfirearms.com. There's gonna be a banner at the top of the homepage that says enter to win this or something along those lines. Click on that banner and uh, <laughs> from there, it'll take you to the page where you have all sorts of different ways to get your entries. Clicking on links, liking, commenting, subscribing, you know, referring friends, all of that stuff right there. Best way to get your entries in for the chance to win this guy right here. So don't miss out. All right, guys, check out all of our Walther products, including the Q5 match right here. I don't think you guys will be upset with this one at all if you're in the market for a new shooter. And I'm going to end the video there, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all of your thoughts and feelings down below, of course. And uh, God bless you all. You guys stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.